So in my continuing campaign to save weight on the cars, a rather expensive and possibly little bit extreme box arrived today from Pro Pioneer for the Spider. So let's take a look at what's in it. More importantly, let's get it on the car. So here is our box. It's uh, very unassuming, it's pretty light. And the only thing that gives away the contents is, well, nothing. Now I've ripped the label off. Ah, yes. Screws aluminium um, is all we've got. So let's have a look what's in, shall we? So you may have noticed now and figured out what this stuff is. And if you haven't, then maybe this is not the channel for you. I have bought myself a set of aerospace grade titanium studs for the car and nuts. And I also got a freebie, which was a titanium phone holder, which is pretty nice touch. Um, the Spider runs bolts by standard and they're pretty heavy and the ones on the car are pretty shabby. And I might have wanted to run spacers with the wheels, maybe. So I decided to do a stud conversion. The Evo's got one um, and chasing grams now on the Spider because there's not a lot more I can do to it to save weight without getting extreme. And I don't want to get extreme because it kind of ruins what the car is because it's a collectible. Um, so this was probably one of the last things that I thought of that I could do. If anyone get any other suggestions, do let me know. But uh, yeah, not not cheap but uh, hopefully a nice little weight saving and it's unsprung mass it's on the wheels which is where it counts more so yeah all good man mass I think um, so Pro Pioneer I hadn't heard of until someone put me in touch with David there and I have to say the kit that they sell they sell all kinds of things all looks very very good and David was really helpful uh, and really patient with me in picking the right kind of stuff for my car and very knowledgeable as well obviously um, and shipped it from China in under a week so well impressed so far and I don't know if you can see on here but the studs have got holes in them and that's actually an exhaust port that runs the length of the stud that uh, is supposed to sort of help dissipate heat from the hood while you're driving and I love crazy shit like that so I was just all over these anyway let us get a nut off the car first a bolt sorry and then let's see how much these weigh in comparison and then we can work out how much weight we're going to save and then get them on the car so here are our scales don't tell Malin I stole them out of the kitchen and here's one of the grubby shitty bolts off the car that has seen better days and they're all slightly different on the spider which is annoying so I think they've been kind of chopped and changed over the years with little regard to consistency which doesn't help my OCD so let's see what this weighs 9900 grams for that and let's see what the nut weighs first this thing is so light it's ridiculous 18 19 grams and then one of the studs bear in mind this is an extended stud so i can run bigger spacers if you want to run five mil max spacer you can get the standard stud uh, which will obviously be lighter than this so 50 grams is the combined weight so doing some quick maths in my head, that means total on the car, I'm gonna save about a kilo, probably slightly more, because some of the nuts are heavy, I've weighed them in the past, which is, you know, the price that I paid for these bolts and nuts is not cheap at all. I'll put the price up in the video, but there's not a lot else I can do, like I say on the Spider, and I thought that this would be a nice little cool addition. So I wasn't really that bothered. And it's a kilo and it's on the wheels, it's unsprung mass, which means it's kind of more weight saved than it would be if it was elsewhere. So I'm kind of trying to convince myself that money well spent, which I think it is, but uh, it would have been nice if I'd saved more weight, but um, you know, it doesn't matter. Weight saving is weight saving. So let us get them on the car, shall we? Okay, so we've got our wheel off now. I have cleaned the hub uh, threads out with some brake and clutch cleaner and wipe them off so that they're all good and we've got our kit here it says on the box 10 mil spanner no more than 30 newton meters of torque when tighten them into the hub so that's all good to go and i've also got some uh high temperature thread lock here so it means that they're not going anywhere if i want to remove them at some point in the future because they're titanium i can use them on the car if i want to um just need a heat gun to basically heat this stuff up and then you can undo 
the uh, studs. So we'll get this one done at kind of normalish speed just to show you how to do it. And then I will just fast forward through to the three and then we can see the end result. Okay, so just take a stud, take our bearing uh, thread locker, apply a little bit of it like that. Let it circulate round. There we go. And that's it, one done. So just need to do that with the other four. And yeah, it really isn't a complicated process, this. You could even do it without taking the wheels off the car or the car off the ground if you wanted to, just one at a time. But uh, I don't know why you would do that. Anyway, let's uh, crack on and get the rest done, shall we? Okay, so that's it, all five installed, looking all very shiny and nice. Um, I will just get the wheel back on now and we can get the nuts on and yeah, then let's get the other three wheels sorted. And just like that, sound like Tommy Cooper, if anyone remembers who he was, if you're old enough, uh, we are done. It was a very simple job. Um, really, really good quality stuff from Pro Pioneer. Really impressed with it. Uh, way tougher than the wheels. The wheels struggled to go on a little bit on the backs. Um, because of the sort of thickness of the wheel and the fact that I'm going from a bolt which obviously has a seat on it which can move around a little bit to sort of accommodate for if the hub isn't perfectly straight with the bolt holes and things um, with the threads sorry because it's French uh, but with studs you don't get that luxury because you know they're sticking out so things have got to fit perfectly so a little bit of jigging around for that but otherwise absolutely no issues whatsoever so there we go, on. Just need to tighten them up tomorrow, but I think they look really smart in the original titanium sort of gold color. I'm really happy with them. So bit of a weight saving. It was just over a kilo in the end with all the bolts weighed up. So I'm kind of happy with that. They cost a lot of money, but um, oh well. There you go. So thank you for watching. The next video will hopefully be back onto mucking about with the Evo.